about Scotland's um, injury news, please? Uh, everyone's back from international uh, and, and came back healthy. Uh, Fernando Jefferson uh, still not back in, in full training. So uh, we'll see where they are tomorrow, but uh, their progress has been a little bit slower. Uh, again, Nathan's still out. Uh, am I missing anyone? I think the rest are available. What have been your first impressions of the group? You haven't had a lot of time with the managing step in a way, but uh, yeah. what are your first impressions? Uh, the response of the players has been fantastic. Uh, I think training's been uh, sharp. Uh, the mentality for training's been really good. So as far as getting started, uh, my thoughts are always training's important. I believe that training should be uh, sharp, should be uh, the right level of intensity, but also done in a way where you're not on the field for, for hours and hours. And uh, I, I couldn't ask more from a group of guys so far. So um, when I've thrown different ideas at them, uh, the response has been terrific. And, and, and look, little by little, that's how we, we grow as a team. So for me, um, that part, excellent. As I get to know uh, the group, uh, a lot of very nice guys. And uh, they get along well. You can, you can see the, the camaraderie of the group. And so uh, that's, that's a great starting point. And then from there, it's just making sure that, that we're all together. Uh, you know, I, I, I said to them before training today that you know, the first days in, of the week are in some ways the days where everybody comes in, they know what training would be like. Later in the week's always a little more of a challenge because obviously it gets closer to picking 11 and picking 18. But so far, uh, again, only, only really good things to say about the way they come across. Just looking at Arsenal on, um, on the weekend, this club has a particularly good record there. Not many teams win there historically in the 10 years since they, since they moved there. Are you aware of the record and um, how confident are you can continue the progress this club has made? I say? No, I'm very aware of the record. And, and the part that I love there is that we can go there with confidence. We have guys that have won there before and they can set a good example. But of course, uh, to win there, you have to play well. And so on the day, uh, all the details need to be right. Uh, Arsenal's football speaks for itself. Uh, I think uh, all of us know what they're all about as a, as a football team. I mean, their movement, their fluidity. So we have to make sure that, that on one hand, uh, you know, defensively, uh, the distance between our lines, our, our awareness of what's going on around you, uh, this kind of thing. If, if you have too many players that lock into just one thing uh, as they're moving and rotating, uh, you'll, you'll leave all sorts of gaps and spaces and, and they can take advantage. So we work clearly on those ways. And I'll always go back to the idea that uh, uh, we have to go there with confidence when we have the ball. We have to go there to play. We have to go there to, to play passes forward. I mean, you know, I understand the discussion sometimes about possession, but when you go uh, away, you've got to have the confidence to, to have people in good position in, in front of the ball and play passes that break through the lines and create advantages. So you know, that's going to be the, the football test on the day. We can talk about that all week, but then when the moment comes, what's our, what's our ability on the day when, when we have the ball? Do you know Arsene Wenger? Have you met him before? I've met him once uh, when I was manager for the U.S. Uh, I went to the training ground and watched training and sat with him a little bit uh, afterwards. And it was a very good experience. He's uh, obviously very bright and uh, he's fun to talk football with. It's up there. Um, again, uh, I don't usually look back on, on those kind of things, but uh, you know, I, I have uh, had the chance to, to uh, coach against some pretty 
um, some pretty big names, you know, uh, Capello, Del Bosque, uh, but Arson is uh, right there with, with the top managers. And to be in, in a club for 20 years uh, where the football uh, that's been played is, is such a reflection of the, of the man. So, you know, this is, this is a fantastic thing. Um, you know, Guardiola was doing a press conference last week uh, about Cruyff's new book, and he was talking about uh, uh, Johan Cruyff's influence. It was more than just a trophy, it's the influence. Well, you'd have to say that if you look at everything that's taken place in 20 years at Arsenal, it's the same kind of influence. And so that's uh, a fantastic compliment.